It seems very English. That's with the phone box. <laughs> yeah, with the we've got phone box, we've got craft sphere, we've got fish, big fish under the water, ducks, and we are in Stockbridge. And apparently over here somewhere, ah, yeah. there is the little whiskey shop. This is an interesting shop. Just talking to Paul, who's looking after it today. And, uh, if you want some Glendronic, today's the day. Because I have a nice, uh, look at that, a fine selection of Glendronic for tasting. <laughs> Let's see, let me give you a little overview. Good selection. Oh, yeah. A ton of minis and a, and a nice little corner in the back. We can ship to family, friends, loved ones. Paul Chan. Those who are the favourite two, those who want to pay the price. Yeah. Where are we? Let's start up here. With the Ben Rhodes. I guess we're in, we're in Space Side. Tambu's lurking back there. Glen Bergy. Uh, and Farkas. And Ben Rex. What's that one back there? It's that one. Glen Tarkas. 20 year Glen Tarkas. I don't know who that is. Bottle by. Yeah, I didn't drink it. Ooh, Craig Yellicky, 23. That's all right. 385 pounds. Ooh, signatory. What is the signatory? Is Glenn Keith, 26 year old? Uh, Weems is always interesting. This is a Glenn Rothes, Glenn Keith, Dal Ewan. Linkwood. I have to have a closer, closer look at those in a minute. Got some Dalmores down here. Twenty-one. <laughs> okay. I see an eighteen lurking back in there as well. Let's see. What's the uh, fifteen year? Is sixty-two. 59. Whiskey is more whiskey. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Nice so, so that would be classed as a whiskey glass. This is a proper tasting glass. Mm. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Anox. What's the Anox? 24. Yeah. 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 And 25. So you can yeah. sort of yeah. air out it and get the right Distillers low Edition. Low Mm, a few things in here. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Some more Glenallachies at the front here. <laughs> I went past. I, my grandmother was a Scot, but I much prefer Irish whiskey. Yeah. Uh, we like all whiskeys, eh? Yeah. 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 Hard like so. yeah. We've even got Indian ones. Alright. Mm -hmm. yeah, quite a okay. few uh, flora and fauna that we've got. Inch Gower in the back. Manic Moore and the Thrusk, I think. Right, we've landed in Peatland. <laughs> Let's see, what is Octomore? The 59 for the 10 year. Very good. Ooh, what's lurking back there? Never know what might be in the back. <laughs> Port Charlotte red wine cask. Gonna have to reach for the label on that one. 195. I'll come back after. Have a closer look. Uh, let's see. The North Star Tobomori. Aaron's. Hey, got lots of interesting bottles in here, Paul.
We have. I keep, way, yeah. As I look to the back, it gets more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, the more expensive ones can get put at the back. Yeah, sure. And then if you want the really interesting ones, that's the cabinet to go for. Ah, the glass that's cabinet. Three thousand pound in there. We'll we'll have a look in here in a moment. Yeah. We're building up. We're building up to the glass cabinet. How are you? Well, then. Afternoon, even, isn't Afternoon. it? Yeah. Moorland, Colila. What have we got here? Another Colila, maybe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Some big drum lurking back there. Twelve. Anything particularly you're looking for? Both whiskey lovers or gin lovers? I'm a gin lover. Oh, yeah. I've got origins. Better look at the back. Let's see, Talisker 18. Oh, Talisker 30. What's, what's behind a Talisker 30? <laughs> Can't see. I'll get the label, that'll be easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Talisker 25. Uh, again, they vary. I think they're about £6. Talisker 30. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's lovely. Oh, Blair and Kalila. Oh, look, there's a gym. I've got a friend there. Hmm. That is a find, a find cart you have here. Let me do that. <laughs> That is a monster collection of minis. Yeah, we've got another cardboard box to try and get out somewhere. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah we get a lot of passing traffic. It's a well-known yeah. sort of destination stop. Which, yeah. And people will actually detour off the main road. And that's what we've so done. They, they you know, can come and stop in Stockbridge and have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee or whatever. That's and exactly what we've done. come and see us. We just look up whiskey shop on the way over. <laughs> so, okay, we can do a little detour. Well, we think we've got probably got the biggest collection outside of Scotland and London. I know, I haven't yeah. seen a, a, a line of minis like that since mm -hmm. uh, we were up in Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah, so, like, you know, Royal, Royal yeah, Mile yeah, area. In the Edinburgh whiskey shop, in the Royal Mile. Yeah. yeah. But there is a ton. Quite a few I have never seen in a, in a mini. I see the Irish whiskey, the back. Butter. Oh, yeah. We have got the Winchester gin. Right, let's go and have a look. Oh, hang on, there's a sign. Prices, let's see. whiskey. Uh, some of those guys inspired the Winchester Royal Ale. <laughs> <laughs> Barely enough. Go ahead. I can have a look. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to the glass cabinets later. We shall have a look. Oh, we're in Campbelltown. Okay. Let's see some spring. Yeah, we'll... Later. Deepest found supernova down there. What have we got here? Uh, <laughs> Hazelburn. Oh, it's the cask strength. Oh, Sherry Austin's got the Hampshire one. You want the Winchester, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I do apologise. Right. I picked the wrong one up. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. 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 3795. Yeah, I'll have that one there. Yeah. Can I have one of these golf ball things? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm not whiskey lover, but it has some fire in it for. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm not as well. Whales and, Whales and India united here. <laughs> Motorhead whiskey. I've not seen that one before. Mira, I've seen around a little bit. What's in the American section? Mm, one of these? Yeah. Did you want? Oh, 
That's that one. Are they both the same whiskey? Not seen that one no. before. Oh, no, they are baby things. Well, they A burst. Paul John. No, I know that's confusing. Nice. For that. This this <laughs> isn't part of this though. I don't I don't know which bit is the Johnny Walker collection. Right, what's what's the front here? A bit interesting. Oh, British, I guess. Yeah, those yeah. two. I think that one looks more like the gold gold, doesn't that? The white one. They're yeah. both the same whiskey. Yeah, yeah, the white one. Yeah, the white one. The white one. Thank you. Right, shall we go to the glass mm -hmm. cabinet? <laughs> Let's see. We'll start at the little glass cabinet. What's lurking in here? Uh, ooh, Highland Park 30 is 690, Highland Park 25 is 385. Brookladdy, there's a 500 pound Brookladdy in there as well. What's the left one? Is it going? Hey there. Port Allen for uh, 2879. And I don't mean £28.79. I guess that's an early black art. No. 89. It's probably 2.1 or something. Which black art is that? It's a 19 year black art. One of the first ones, I'm guessing. Which black art is that lurking down there, Paul? Must Sorry. be. That black art must be an early one. Yes. Do you know what number it is? I can't I see what it is. No. That's right. I can see it's 19 years. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't planning on buying it. I was, uh, you know, <laughs> Shame don't, on don't, you. don't feel that you need to get it out of the yeah. case or anything. What else is in here? Ooh. Little milk. Yeah. <laughs> That's an old Bell Blair bottle, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's got the um, Peaky Blinder whiskey. <clears throat> got the Peaky Blinder oh, whiskey, okay. bourbon, gin, and rum. Oh, I've got the gin. Yeah. Uh, right. so I've I got, oh, you've got the white water gin as well. Yeah, it's not gin, it's got whiskey. Oh, it's whiskey. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I bought the gin up at Heathrow. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, you got it on BA. It was limited yeah. to BA. Yeah. Mm. 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 And they've got Game of Thrones as well. Oh, yeah. ah. Well, there's eight in the set. They're just a few odd ones. 2010 Supernova split, for 400. Uh, uh, what else have got? Eight. It's Roller Coaster. Big R Bag 17. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a fish with that and see which one is on. But the then Lord of the Isles. I told him in 450 or 650. Yeah. I'll take all three. That happens sometimes, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Are these just empty boxes of, in here? No, no, no they, they've got the bottles in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very... I don't know that much about it, other than I know the reputation is, you know, I mean, very it's collectible. I mean, it's value. Again, a lot of them high price whiskey, it's because they're rare. Yeah, you know, it's, it's... It's not they're particularly that much. Better than yeah, it's oh, art, yeah. art world I mean, rather than. I, I'm, I, I, I can sort of justify to myself paying a hundred, pushing a hundred yeah. fifty pound for a bottle of whiskey. I think that's where you're. But like things that, are improving up to that point, yeah. and beyond that, it sort of yeah. goes exponential. Yeah, I mean, and you know, if you, you take the twelve and the twenty-one over Glendronic, well, yeah. That's, that's 42, that's yeah. 140. Yeah. You know, but you can taste the difference. Yeah. You know what you're paying for. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've never tried Peter Glendronach. Haven't you? It's, uh, uh, we've sold out. We had a tasting evening. Yeah. And um, and is it is it actually Peter oh, yeah, Barley? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's a tiny bit. That's good. Is it? Um, it's an Aberdeen peat, so it's oh, a lot so it gentler. Is, it is peated barley. It's not just a peated mm. barrel. No, no, no. It's it still smells like uh, Glendronach. But 
but yeah, yeah. But it's in a bourbon car, so that helps. Okay. Stop it even oh more, no, more then I shouldn't. Well. I, then I'm wrong. Then. So yeah. it's it's not a. Not a normal sherry. Gronic, sherry or La Rosso. That's in a bourbon car. So that's it's, why it's a much lighter colour. But it, okay, so it has a it has a finish in sherry, yeah. but it's predominantly a bourbon car. About ten years. Yeah, it's no age mm. statement, so mm. presume it's. Ten years or something. Yeah. It's sherry, beet, but, uh, but not that much sherry. Not not compared to. Yeah, not compared to the eighteen. <laughs> that one. Yeah, we have one at home. <coughs> <coughs> and the peat is fairly light on it, isn't it? Well, um, I mean, if if you think of the Isle of Peat, yeah, it was below sea level. Yeah. So the peat is seaweed, kelp, lots of things dividing. Mm. If you think of the Aberdeen peat. Never been below sea level, mm. so it's moss, heather, and other sort of right. heathland. So the peat is soft, you know. Soft the peat. Oh, that is nice though. Yeah, I, I, I can't sell you a bottle of it because no. <laughs> I've run out. We will be getting more in. But it, yeah, it's more bourbon than sherry. Yeah, and the the peat yeah. is just a nice it's roll off at the I end, mean, isn't it? We had a couple of people. Oh, don't like peated. When yeah. we did the tasting evening, and they both went out with a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. I guess beef or beef, beef and beef. Yeah. It's good. Because there's quite a nice and sort of honey richness to that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's very soft. Yeah. So, but beef is even the person. Let's see. Any idea what kind of level of PPM? Pete, that is. It's not going to be high with it. Like yeah, 10? Yeah, something I, I, maybe? I don't know where it says. I don't think Aberdeen Peats tend to put it on so much. Yeah. It's more the Isle of Peats where they put it on because it's got a high so high I'm in it. I'm not sure if I can put it on my tradition. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I can put it on my Yeah. Yeah. So it has a finish. It has a finish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think he said it's about a third of the iodine of a normal peated one. Mm. A third of the PPM. I mean, it's a nice bourbon whiskey underneath that as well, mm. isn't it? Isn't that? Mm. Would you mind if we try a bit of the 21? We've got the 18, we've never tried the 21. That is just so okay. smooth, this 21. So now we're in. Real more, more familiar Glendronic land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good, that 21. Let me see. Can I see, let's see if actually, I can see what date is on that? <coughs> that one's actually a 23 year old. Right, okay. Same as that 18 is a 23 year old. That's what I was going to ask. You yeah. know, I know about the distillery closing. Yeah, yeah. the 15 revival is now a proper that 15, is a 15 year old. Yeah. yeah, and they've changed the recipe and put and that in it's different. Of Oloroso. More Oloroso. Yeah. Think, um, does it have any PX in there? No, it's no, it is Oloroso. No, it's 100% Oloroso. Oh no, hang on. No, it does say both. Yeah, okay. I think this yeah. one is the 18 is Oloroso <coughs> only, isn't it? The others are. Yeah, yeah. It's it's bad for you. So these are both 23 year old, you know, because of a distillery yeah, yeah, closing. Yeah. But that's totally different to that. Right. Yeah. I I have this one. Uh, it. Mm. Oh, yeah, that is, Isn't it smooth? That is very different. It's like, I sort of liken that to drinking a reasonably good Chardonnay to right. a Montrachet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's quite light at the start. It, it, it just like goes it's soft on and, on. and then it... Yeah. And that's what you're paying for with the yeah. age, the integration oh, and yeah. the smoothness. I'm getting yeah. all those caramels coming up now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like toasted... Mm. Like a deep caramel. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of fun. The latest Glanelushi yeah. limited edition. Right, I know, I saw that stand out. And um, 13, what is it? Yeah. So 13 year old. We had three cases of it. Oh, it's a port pipe. Yeah, we had three cases of it. Yeah. And they went in three hours. Yeah. Yeah. And the rep from Gordon Gasau says, Oh, I can probably get you an odd bottle. And she got us that bottle. And this one's and it's on the out. website and it's just not sold. That's it's, funny. It's really, really strange. And is that a cask strength? Is that a single barrel? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I haven't got my see. glasses on. Oh, yeah. Well, it has yeah. a cask number. So, yeah. yeah. Bottle number. <clears throat> and it is at. Oh yeah, it's at sixty percent. Mm. And how much is that one then, Paul? Uh, I'd have to look it up. 
It's about 130. Yeah. That's an interesting bottle. Hiya. Hiya. Do some research. If you want one to invest, that's a good one. Yeah, that does look like a good one. That, did you know that that's the Ralphie bottle? Oh. Let's just, let's just go and have another look. Quick, Paul's not looking. Let's go. See you, Paul. <laughs> See you, Paul. <laughs>